So Becca, we are out here in the desert and there's nothing out here. Why would we build a shelter here anyway? So there's so much open country out here that it's quite possible that you could be crossing a huge stretch of at a place like this with no trees or anything. So our only choice is to build a sagebrush shelter. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, out here in the middle of nowhere on our way to more nowhere. As you can see, we're, there's not a tree for, I don't know, how, how close do you think the nearest tree is? Well, those buttes are going to be four miles. looking for a um, anything any kind of a spot that might break the wind a little bit or give us some advantage in making shelter and we're walking towards uh, there's a small little rim rock jutting up out of the ground there so we're coming up to that rim rock that Chris Tuff has spotted so let's go check it out and see if it makes a good shelter spot huh let's do it we're almost there so we found this rim rock and our original plan was to make a shelter up against it, but there's quite a bit of animal sign around it. So we're thinking that we would actually be better off making our shelter away from the rim rock so we have the opportunities to trap the animals that are here. Well, if we're not going to use this rim rock, it means we're back out there into the, into the basin where it's just nothing but sagebrush. And we're going to see what we can do to build a shelter out there in the middle of nowhere. All right, so we're hiking out here. We've hiked probably, what, 60 miles, you think, Christopha? And for one day, that's not a bad haul. No, yeah. we're, we're covering some ground. Yeah. So we've got the wind on our backs. So basically at this point, we're just looking for a couple of these bigger sagebrushes that we can, they're actually bitter brush, that we can um, use as kind of the foundation of our shelter. So we've come into kind of a thick patch of it. Yeah, here, wind's coming in. Southeast. We've got a pretty couple of big shrubs right here. Block on the other front. Nice little opening right here. I think it's be great for the night. Okay, let's give it a shot. So basically what we're gonna do is we're we've got these big sage brushes like Chris Tuffa said, and we're just gonna get smaller sage brushes and fill in the holes. And if we can work a roof over us, we will, but <laughs> You can kind of see we have a pretty nice natural little alcove there. So we've gathered a bunch of materials for our shelter and now we're going to start making a framework. What we're going to do is take some paracord and tie these branches off over to the ones on the other side and that'll give us a little bit of a roof structure to start to start piling our other sagebrush over the top of. So that's our next step. Right on. All right, so we've been working for about an hour. It's actually a pretty quick shelter to build, and we've got a pretty good start on the sagebrush shelter. The basic design is that we just, we used a couple of existing sagebrush and then started doming up some branches around them, some other sagebrush. It's really the only material we have out here, so. This shelter is kind of a one of those worst case scenarios when you get stuck out here on the flat and you just don't have any other options. There's no wind in here. So this isn't a bad shelter, huh? It's awfully cozy. Yeah, it's not definitely not the kind of shelter that we would that would keep the rain and the snow off of us. But when you're out here on the flat like this, the most important thing is keeping the wind off of you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you think this took us? I would say between an hour and an hour and a half. Yeah. Not longer than an hour and a half. No, it's not ideal to get stuck out across a big flat like this in the sagebrush. But you know, right here where Chris Tuff and I are, we're 10 miles from the tree line on one side of this big basin. and seven miles the other way so it's almost 20 miles across this valley and there's probably not if you walked in a straight line you'd be lucky if you came to four or five trees so i mean you just don't really have any choice but yeah if it was gonna rain we could stretch a tarp across the top of it i mean yeah. there's ways you could make this a little more bomb proof but 
like you're saying, that's not the point of this one. The point is, is to stay the night and move on into the forest. Yeah. Where there is more resources. Yeah, you wouldn't, <clears throat> there's not a lot of reason to hang out out here in the flat. So it would just be in transit. You need some place to get out of the weather. And it's doing that. Yeah. Let's have some fucking lunch. Okay. I'm starving. Yeah. Have some uh, textured vegetable protein. <laughs> right. Is that on the menu? <laughs> some TVP. Right. We've got some potatoes. We've got some sage. There's plenty of sage. We can season it with sage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. No grubs or bugs this time of year. Yeah, unfortunately. doesn't really phase me at all no. it's just I figured they might want to know yeah we we've, we've been out here so much like wet cold and you spend a lot of time in the desert you just get tough so Casey, so why, why the fuck would we do that why would we do that <laughs> so Casey uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right